started and I thought I'm gonna give you guys a bit of an update just so um, uh, you guys can see how I'm building the strategy and um, how I'm uh, going to implement things and um, just you know like how like a professional way of uh, implementing a new strategy um, so uh, just um, for uh, if uh, anyone is new um, if you're not subscribed please subscribe and please give this video a like if you like what I'm talking about and as you guys know in chat um, uh, I don't give too many updates on this system but um, uh, for anyone that's new as I said this is a scalping system this is a future system and what that means it is an advanced system that I've spent almost a year uh, developing now it does need a lot of discipline it needs a larger account like uh, you can't do this with a five thousand dollar account um, and I think th another reason why it's really advanced is because um, you got to be able to suffer through large drawdowns once in a while so um, yeah like the the way I've developed it now is like I've, I've uh, spent almost half a year uh, first paper trading and since March now I have started actually trading live and I am not trading it with the product that I'm going to trade um, once um, this system is fleshed out um, which is the ES the e minis uh, I'm trading the e mini micros uh, MES forward slash MES um, just so that I can eliminate all of the the emotions and um, am able on on focus uh, to focus on like proper execution and um, learning from like mistakes and really like um, tracking what I'm doing so as you guys can see um, uh, like it's been going it's been going well um, and uh, I, I guess you can kind of uh, uh, cut it up into um, you know different phases um from in my learning process so the first phase is kind of you know like figuring stuff out there's been you know like a few drawdowns um, a few um uh you know like kind of uh, emotional things still uh, because uh, i was live um the market's volatile as well so stuff might not always go so there were a few losers in here but the the other reason why this is looking a little bit choppy here is because i am in new zealand and i'm training trading overnight and um, sometimes, you know, like uh, depending on when I enter, when I exit, and what I do in between, uh, certain PNL PNL might be counted to the previous day, certain PNL might be counted to the other day. So um, that's why uh, this looks a little bit choppy. But that was like phase one, and then after I figured out, you know, like how to do these things, you know, like got a little bit calmer. Um, Here's like the smooth sailing phase. The market is still volatile, um, you know, like so chopping around a lot while also, on, you know, also trending, of course, as you see in the in the main chart. But um, the strategy is working, and I am golden. And then up here, the market starts get starts to get less volatile here, uh, mid April, and uh, I am getting a bit cockier because stuff's working super smoothly, right? So I ran into this big um, drawdown here one day, um, which uh, was bound to happen. Um, but that has helped me to implement like new um, risk management rules, like make it tighter. I was not tight enough. So like a nice learning experience. Um, and now after implementation, we are uh, good again. So what you just see is like, you know, like that's why you want to test things a long time and I'm we're gonna go keep uh, keep going I'm gonna show you more data but this is just like a rough um, overview over um, this first you know like this the, since I started going live and just um, so I've mentioned this like my goal is to do a, th a thousand trades um, to have like a proper sample size uh, where I refine my rules I experience how it feels and I'm also journaling like um, my psychology uh, I'm not just uh, tracking the data and phase two then will be, will be to scale up uh, to multiple contracts uh, to test the liquidity and stuff like that. Um, and then eventually, hopefully by the end of this year, I will be switching to the uh, ES contracts 
and um, treat this, um, you know, uh, with the song proper, you know. But if you just um, look at, you know, like you had a glimpse here, like the PL so far is $12,000 since I went live. So let's uh, jump into um, the detailed uh, tab here for a second. So, like the total gain is $12,000 and a few um, hundred dollars, um, which is amazing you know like for a two two months uh it, it's been about two months um average gain daily gain is, a, is 290 dollars as you see i'm trading high volume so that's um the, if you if you assume one entry one exit that's 40 trades a day of course that's not like sometimes i'm like the max size that i'm taking is 10 contracts because after that you would just be trading uh, an e-mini and I'm kind of trying to limit that to also um, perhaps simulate, you know, like a, an account that's not big enough to, to go completely crazy. Um, average winning trades, as you see, you know, they're low compared to the average loser. So that's what a high, you know, like the win ratio is insane uh, at the, uh, just the way I've structured this. But what you have to expect with such a high win-loss uh, ratio is that the drawdowns are going to be, be big, as I've pointed out. So um, I'm now at 847 trades. I'm not done yet with this phase one. Um, lots of winning trades, some losing trades. Uh, 159 consecutive wins. That's the max streak I've had. Um, um, and um, that's what's in, what is interesting here. Profit factor is pretty high. And here as well, um, average hold time for winning trades is 11 minutes. So it's short um, and the uh, hold time for losing trades is five hours. And that is just due to how I'm structuring my risk management strategy. Um, and I don't wanna, I'm not gonna go into too much uh, like setup uh, and uh, you know, triggers uh, because that's, first of all, trade secret. And second of all, um, it's not about this. I just wanna show you guys the process of how I'm uh, doing this so that's that um so yeah like high win rewards um trade expect expectations is good you see you've seen this before uh, the, these are the drawdowns that i've had see like this is the big shocker drawdown 750 bucks um this is the beginning volatility that we've had and um so that's that um so let's just go back to the calendar real quick so we can see uh, what this looks like on a calendar um, so let's look at March when I started this you know first you know the craziness here um, that was of course you know like the the PL are insane here but you see like there's also more drawdown day more uh, red days and it's, it's more volatile you know inconsistent um, with the profit and loss and the reason why you see um, profits here or just trades on Sunday is because um, um, uh, like because I'm, I'm trading futures so futures open you know like on on Sunday for you guys um, or for me it is, it is Monday but you know they, they, they open on Sunday uh, before the official you know like uh, uh, regular trading hours so that's like that well, that was the first month i was definitely promising and i was like okay jesus christ how you know like these pnl but of course um this is not going to be um sustainable when the market um gets less volatile so we look through april um you see gradually you know like the daily pnl decrease a little bit but you also see the like there's way less losing trades you also see i'm trading less like, uh, you know, 24, 42, 28 trades, lots of trades, and then it became a little bit less. Um, sometimes it goes back up, but um, you see, um, in general, you know, like it, it's, you can see it, it, the volatility is dying down a little bit. Um, and you see that that's, you know, how the P, you know, get lower as well. Uh, here's that big, um, the big loser that I've had. Um, and then uh, in May so far, it's been going quite well. Um, you know, just steady, steady. Um, quite a few trades here on Monday, it seems. Um, but other than that, you know, less trades, a bit less PL. But um, this is what I'm going for. Um, I'm, I just want to maybe as consistent as possible. 
which I am, and uh, you know, be as emotional as, as possible. So let's look at a bit more data. So days and times, uh, as you see, this is the times when I trade. I trade the close, I trade the overnight. Funny enough, I have this one red bar here, uh, um, which is most likely when I closed um, that, um, that big loss uh, a few weeks ago. But you see the, my main PL comes from the close, um, also the main volume. That's when I trade the most. Then I trade, you know, like uh, the, the, this is a New Zealand time. Uh, no, this is a uh, market hours. So that, you know, like in New Zealand, that's the morning um, or it's just my, my day. And that's when I go to sleep. So no trades here. Um, performance, trade distribution. It's interesting that I mean, just look at the volatility, you know, in March it was crazy. I made less trades and had more PL. Uh, we're going to see how this is going to turn on in May. Um, by duration, you know, like multi day. This is not very representative because if I. Uh, the, 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 this this uh, is um, tracking the US day, day change, date change. So um, for me, that's at 5 p.m. So if I, if I hold, hold a position from 4.59 to 5.01, that means it's a multi-day trade. Uh, that's just, you know, so that's why I don't look at this stuff uh, too much. But what's interesting here is the intraday duration. So I am getting, I am doing exactly what I'm kind of want to do with this trade, with this strategy um, as short as possible. It's a scalping strategy. So um, uh, all my trade distribution is in the right kind of ballpark. And it's actually interesting that um, I'm, make, I'm making uh, fewer trades that are 20 minutes long and they are giving me uh, almost as much PL as the ones that are um, uh, just a minute long. And that's definitely something that I'm going to look into and see why. And I actually, I have a very high, good suspicion why that is um, just based on, because I know my strategy. And then it starts decreasing, you know, like when I hold stuff too long because it goes against me, that's where the PL you know, kind of drop. So that is, I mean, obvious as well, but it's good to see um, that, you know, see, say uh, I'm in a trade for 40 minutes. I know, okay, I have to start being more aggressive in my risk management because statistically I am in a loo uh, I'm not going to make money after such a long time. Um, price volume, this doesn't um, matter much because, um, uh, I mean, you know, it's the same thing that I just said with the with the 40 minutes plus kind of trades. As soon as I have more volume in one trade, you know, like more, if I trade more than 20 contracts, um, that's um, a loser. And that's 20 contracts like uh, in total. So I'm, I'm likely scaling in, scaling out, scaling in, scaling out. Um, uh, this is not holding 20 at a time. Um, same, you know, like there, there's not much that I'm going to look at here because uh, it's it's not really what I am, um, what, what I'm concerned about just based on my scalp, but because it's a scalp strategy the instrument, we don't have to look at because I'm only trading one instrument. Here, what, uh, market behavior, the main thing that I'm looking at is a discrepancy between um, where do I spend most my my trades, and is there a discrepancy between P and L? So you see, like um, I spend, I, I do a few, a, a bit fewer trades um, when this, when 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 the spy or the market is having like an inside day, um, which uh, obviously with a scalping mean reversion strategy is helping me. Um, so these days are usually more profitable. Um, or this looks about similar. It's not too big of a difference. Um, so all of this, there's not too many discrepancies. Um, other than that, uh, when the spy has a big update, I'm not making as much money as um, on other uh, as compared to how many trades I'm spending on it. Uh, and then when loss expectation, that's it's just you know that's the, that basic overview um, what, that we've already seen. Um, win loss days um, doesn't matter too much. Um, what I'm always going to look at is tag breakdown. So I'm tagging. I have five setups that I'm trading. I'm not going to show you guys because that's going to give too much away of what exactly my setups are. But um, basically, um, you can go in here and even track the individual tags. 
Um, so uh, I know exactly which setup is working the best and what I'm hopefully eventually be able to do is, you know, distinguish and trade them with a bit more size than, than the other setups or perhaps just focus on them depending. And that's something I'm going to um, figure out eventually. And now what I want to show you guys is my journal as well. So um, you see, like I always make like take like psychological notes. Um, I haven't added tags in the last few days because I, I knew I wanted to show you guys. So, um, but you see, like um, there is sometimes drawdowns or drawdowns here that you have to suffer through uh, before this turns into um, uh, it, some of those trades. You know, like are saved uh, if you want to say it like that. So, um, but in general, you know, like this is. Um, I haven't been taking notes well here, I'm noticing. Um, so I have to uh, be more diligent um, with this stuff, uh, with, um, you know, taking psychological notes. Um, but yeah, like the, uh, I've moved everything into Trader View because I'm tracking data and I'm just, um, I know what works for me in terms of taking notes. Uh, I'm not, you know, like I, I've, if you guys remember, I've given you a blueprint um, on how to pre prepare a proper journal. I've done that, all of that in the beginning and I'm not really doing that anymore um, because I've streamlined it for what works for me. And, um, but if you want to, you know, like start doing a proper journal, do it properly first so you can figure out what works for you. This is the same thing for me, you know, like, um, uh, uh, um, let me see here, detailed, go to the detailed, give me the detailed. Um, so, like, had I just decided here that, oh yeah, this is what works, um, you know, like I would have ran into a freaking wall. And that's the same thing with, with, um, with um, figuring out processes in, in other ways, you know, like you have to do it for a certain while, you have to do it the proper way first and then, or like a certain way, do it a certain way first for a, a long time and then you can reassess and when you encounter certain issues that's when you um, adjust um, and that's how you get closer to your system and your process and how you log how you journal but as you see like i am keeping meticulous track of um, my my data and my psychology as well so guys, that's it. Um, I hope this was helpful for you. I hope this is uh, inspirational. I personally find this like, two years ago, I would have never thought that in two months I could have made, could, could make that much money by, you know, being just, you know, being diligent, but you gotta put in the time. I've spent, like this, this system has been in development for almost a year. So I am patient with this because once, well, this is working now. Um, so I'm going to be able to do this hopefully for the rest of my life. And um, hopefully um, I won't have to worry about stuff anymore. And um, if you guys want to learn this, eventually I'm going to turn, turn this into, of course, uh, now with my sales pitch, uh, I hate that I'm doing this, but I am going to turn, to turn this into a course. So if you're interested in it, join our Discord. If you're not joining yet, um, we have two other people, amazing options traders, um, who are going to teach you our base system first. Everything's free for the moment. So as long as you join now, things are free still. It's going to get monetized soon. And I'm not just saying that because we are, con we are creating way too much content to make this uh, a free channel. So get in now um, if you can um, and eventually I will, um, once I've, I've gone through phase two, I'll likely turn this into the course, um, but I want you guys to trade, um, to learn like our base option system first, which is all going to be, you know, like taught to you for free in our, in our, uh, in our channel. And then eventually uh, I'm going to turn this into a course. And if you are part of our group, you will be taught this for free as well. So that was the sales pitch. I hate selling stuff, but I guess, you know, these days you have to do this. Um, you know, people are going to say I'm paper trading. People are going to say this and that. Haters are always going to be there. 
you guys who are with us, with us in chat know that that's all bullshit. You guys, you guys uh, who have been with us for years now, or almost a year now, you guys know we're real. We see it in the success of some of you guys who have been with us for a long time. Everyone is making progress. Um, so who cares what everyone else says, right? So with that, guys, um, I think I'll see you guys tomorrow. Oh no, I'm gonna do my market recap next. So I'll see you in the map market recap and then I will see you tomorrow afterwards. Take care guys.